So good afternoon, uh, everybody. My name is uh, Paul Fabry. Uh, I'm from the Greece Research Group from uh, University of Sherbrooke. And I'm pleased to present you today's uh, joint work with uh, other members, uh, François Goyer, Adrien Barton, and Jean-François Etier, uh, on uh, ontology for healthcare systems. Uh, François Goyer is a lead author on this uh, work, but he unfortunately couldn't be uh, present for ICBO this year. The presentation will uh, go as follows. Uh, I will first talk about our back background for this research and our motivation. I will present the main uh, the ontological representation for healthcare system and discuss some of its uh, implications. Uh, our main background is that of uh, what we call a learning health system. The goal of a learning health system is to access to data that are created during the practice of care and uh, to be able to access them and use them in uh, research and to re-inject them after in, a pra in practice care uh, in order to have uh, a, cir a virtuous circle of uh, care improvement. In order to do so, a uh, learning health system needs to uh, access a wide range of uh, clinical data from various systems. Is it uh, electronic health record from an hospital to, uh, for example, smart uh, smart device? For that, uh, in a research group, we are developing a uh, health data mediation platform that is called PASTWA. And uh, this uh, platform is based on an ontolo ontological model of uh, clinical uh, information and activities um, to, uh, to promote the, to uh, be able to do the interoperability, sorry, interoperability between the different uh, clinical sources. Uh, I would like to point that uh, we are using ontology, uh, I think, in a different way than most of people. Uh, we are not using our ontology. We are, will not populate them with instant. We are not using our classes to annotate other uh, database. Instead, we are focusing on our T box to have a highly axiomatized T box. And this uh, T box is then uh, used to uh, generate a, rel a relational model thanks to a tool that has been developed by a member of your team, uh, uh, now Professor Christina Kneisser, and uh, this is an automatic generation from uh, ontological model to a relational uh, database model. And this model is then uh, map mapped to a relational model from the various clinical sources. Uh, for this model, we have already developed some ontology from a uh, different domain. For, uh, some of them have already presented uh, in ICBO and submitted to uh, Obo Foundry, for example, uh, Pedro's uh, prescription uh, drug ontology or labo for the laboratory result. Uh, when we, uh, during the development of this uh, ontology, we realized that we needed to harmonize uh, the different class and process that we have uh, created with this ontology, and we propose uh, to uh, regroup the different uh, processes from, uh, from this domain, uh, whether it's a drug prescription and laboratory results, but there, is, there are a lot of other uh, domain, under a general healthcare-related process that we call the health procedure, uh, and uh, which is composed of uh, one or several health activity. Uh, I won't go too much into in the detail for this because we already talked about that uh, uh, last year. Uh, a health procedure, in fact, is really about uh, one particular procedure for an individual and the data that is the output of the procedure. For example, if I uh, get my pulse measured by my smart smartwatch, that will be a health procedure and the output will be the measure of my pulse. But in the real world, most of the, this kind of procedure are uh, taking place in the context of healthcare system where various health professionals and stakeholders are operating around that. And all this information, not only the, just the clinical data, but where is that been taken, by whom, uh, in which environment, are very valuable information from a learning health system. And so, we, uh, that's I'll call for uh, to have an ontological representation of all this uh, contextual information uh, that, where in which we could integrate our uh, representation of health procedure. There are already a 
lot of health care related classes that exist in uh, obo foundry ontology uh, we already cited the uh, omrc ogms opmi gsso envo uh, whether it's about material entity process wall we have already a lot of uh, classes about health care related uh, activities and entities in uh, available in, in obo foundry so why not just reuse this class? And that's what we tried to do at the beginning. And while doing so, we encountered encounter some uh, problem. And uh, notably that every ontology is uh, created with a, a specific vision of its domain. And uh, so, uh, that is not to say that, of course, that one ontology is better than, than the other, but uh, when we uh, try to mix classes from uh, different ontology, we found sometimes some uh, that we were not as much as compatible as uh, we'd like. And in addition, and I think for our case, it was very important, uh, as we use our ontology to uh, generate a relational uh, database model, we uh, add a lot of axiom uh, in our model, in our ontology, and we try to, to con constrain it a lot with action. And uh, we thought that uh, taking uh, existing classes and adding axiom to them is uh, that, that could distort the meaning of uh, that classes. And uh, ultimately, it's our end goal is to uh, propose a modification to already existing classes instead of creating a new ontology. But it's a process that takes time. And uh, in the meantime, we need a model for a project. So we are creating this model uh, on, our, uh, on our side. For, for example, uh, for us, it's not enough to say that uh, an outpatient encounter is a kind of healthcare encounter. We need to assert uh, who, where it takes place, who is a participant of uh, this encounter, and what is the distinction between an inpatient encounter and an outpatient encounter. So, just to uh, go over the, the principles that we use for this model for this uh, modelization, uh, obviously uh, we can use a class label healthcare. Healthcare is a too large a scope. To be represented by only one class. So instead, we uh, represented uh, main entities that involve that in involve in healthcare and how they relate to each other. We follow the realist approach based on the uh, BFO and uh, following the Obo Foundry principle. Uh, so central to uh, our model are the, the class of uh, what we call health procedure which define as a planned process get guided by the objective of contributing to a desired effect on the health status of one or several organisms. So uh, this class has also uh, other parts that I uh, won't uh, describe here for the, for the sake of the, the presentation. And we can also say that uh, this health procedure as an organism as, as participant. We have been very uh, conservative. Uh, in this case, we are talking of uh, organism and not human because initially a health procedure could be for veterinary uh, medicine, for example. But uh, for the rest in of the presentation, it is implied that organism will refer to a human. So next to this uh, health procedure, we define what we call a uh, healthcare service delivery. That is a health procedure, a kind of health procedure, but that is under the responsibility of an organization and an organization that I'm providing a desired effect on the health status of an individual or the, the communities. So this healthcare service delivery is a process that will realize the healthcare organization role, and that is a role that in air in an organization and is realized by providing some uh, some delivery. There are different kinds of uh, uh, healthcare service delivery, uh, and some healthcare service de delivery could be addressed to a whole community. For example, the process of uh, water fluoridation, or sometimes we have a mosquito eradication uh, campaign. There are uh, healthcare uh, organization uh, services, but they are addressed to, not to uh, one specific individual, but uh, to uh, a community. Uh, opposed to that, we define what we call an individual healthcare service delivery. That is, that it is a healthcare service delivery service delivery, sorry, that will target some specified individual. And this 
uh, process will have as part uh, a healthcare procedure, which is a, which is a kind of health procedure which happen uh, under the in a healthcare, uh, uh, sorry, in an individual healthcare service de delivery under the responsibility of an organization. Uh, with subclass individual healthcare service delivery uh, with different, uh, following different kind, and we define what we call an healthcare encounter uh, that is a temporarily connected individual healthcare service delivery uh, that aim to improve donc, the health of uh, some participating, participating organism. The distinction between its uh, parents is that in a healthcare encounter, uh, the target of the service delivery will be also participating to uh, the process because in some cases in some uh, individual healthcare service delivery it will be uh, targeted to a uh, given individual but which who will not participate to the process itself and uh, in turn this healthcare encounter could be uh, subclassed according for example to the location and uh, I, we just uh, Indicated an example here of uh, uh, facility based healthcare encounters, that is, the healthcare encounters that happens in uh, healthcare facility or that are part that uh, occurs in a healthcare facility. Uh, similarly, to the distinction between health procedure and the organizational uh, part, that is, the healthcare service delivery, we wanted to make a distinction entre a health worker, that is, uh, an organism, in our case, uh, a human, uh, who is trained as uh, to provide uh, health care. And uh, sometime, uh, most of the time, a health worker uh, is a member of a health care organization. That's why we define the subclass health care worker as a health, care work as a health worker, a member of an health care organization. Uh, but sometimes we have health uh, worker who work uh, uh, outside of an organization. And that's why we uh, we uh, created the, the distinction between the two. Finally, in, uh, in a, it's very important for a model, uh, especially if you want to uh, map to uh, data that we find in a clinical uh, system, uh, to uh, be able to uh, represent the relation of a given uh, participant with the process. Uh, that's why we propose to uh, subclass uh, the object property as a participant with, uh, in, in this case, two, uh, two examples uh, that will uh, determine if the participant uh, participates as a healthcare worker or participate uh, rather as a recipient of the, of the process. Uh, just uh, two uh, quick examples to, uh, to illustrate uh, this model. Uh, first example, we have a uh, the case of uh, Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones has a smartwatch and uses smartwatch to measure his pulse. It's in our case, uh, the process of Mr. Jones measuring his pulse is in our case a health procedure, which has as participant uh, Mr. Jones. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, pulse measurement is a kind of health procedure, but health procedure uh, has as part uh, a pulse measurement, which is another kind of uh, process. Now, if uh, in the case of uh, Mr. John uh, doesn't feel quite well and he had to go to the emergency uh, room and now his pulse is measured, but in, in the case of uh, facility-based healthcare encounter, which is his uh, emergency uh, visit, that happens in a particular uh, hospital or clinic and uh, is uh, the participating recipient of his uh, healthcare encounter and during this healthcare encounter, it will have as part, but it will, there will be also have uh, many other parts, a uh, healthcare procedure, that is the pulse measurement. And in this case, that is done by, uh, there is a healthcare professional that will be the participating healthcare worker for this uh, procedure. Uh, as you, uh, as we just, uh, and as I just show, uh, we uh, uh, use, uh, we define some particular object property to represent the, the relation between a particular uh, work uh, professional and the, the process. 
that is something that can be do uh, with uh, the use of all uh, an, a role a BFO role is a central class in uh, in the BFO ontology. But uh, we found that uh, the use of role could be uh, a, sometimes a, a, a bit complex for uh, for modelization, and we have some uh, limitation for uh, with the logic of uh, all and description logic for using all. For example, I can assert that healthcare procedure relies on healthcare worker role, and that an healthcare procedure has participant an healthcare worker. I can also uh, also assert that an healthcare worker is bearer of a healthcare worker role, but I can't assert that the healthcare worker role realized by the healthcare procedure is the same that the one born by the healthcare worker. I will need a ternary relation that I can use and I need to use uh, first order logic to formalize that. Uh, on the other hand, when you uh, inst instantiate your, uh, when you populate uh, your ontology with instance, this is not much of a problem because you just have to uh, say that it's the same instance for both healthcare world to make the to make the connection. So we rather wanted to use a dedicated object property that uh, allows us to have the, to keep the same uh, semantic relationship between one uh, particular worker on the process in which he uh, participate but there is uh, by uh, doing so there is also a risk to uh, multiplying object property uh, depending on the number of different kind of uh, uh, not role but different kind of professional that we want to to represent uh, i would like to say that it's a uh, rather uh, recent work and our goal is not to uh, propose a new ontology but rather to propose new class or maybe modifying already existing class uh, from uh, ontology like omer for for example uh, i see that uh, it's not my uh, last version because uh, the theory versus practice is maybe a bit on the passive aggressive side sorry but uh, what i would like to say is that uh, it's a long process we are perfectly uh, aware of that, but in the meantime, uh, we need our ontology to uh, to do our work for our model. So uh, our end goal is to uh, integrate this class, to have them integrated in already existing ontology, uh, but it's a difficult process, it's long, especially if we want to add, I think, uh, axiom a bit more constrained to class that already exists and that are already used by other uh, the community in uh, in other uh, in the work, and uh, lastly, uh, we also uh, try to uh, integrate this work this work in uh, within a more broader representation of uh, ontology, and we uh, we did a bit of work uh, for this uh, during the uh, workshop of Jowo this year of uh, on ontology of uh, social service. Uh, thank you for uh, your, your attention.